today Even Larry Even Larry Overflow Akachineke He blessing someone today Akaya Akaya Aka Jehovah name Hallelujah. We will see his hands today. You are welcome in Jesus' name. We are still in the season of his glory. We are in the season of his glory today. He said he wants us to talk about the manifest wonders of his glory. The manifest wonder of his glory. The manifest wonders of his glory. The manifest wonders of his glory. We want to see his physical hand today. Hallelujah. The manifest wonders of his glory. And I'm taking my test from First Peter 1, 11 to 12. First Peter 1, 11 to 12. You're welcome in Jesus' name. You will never go here today without a miracle. He says, searching what? Or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should do what? Follow. 12. 12. Unto him whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us that are here right now they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. What will happen here today, the angels will love to see it in the name of Jesus. Like I said, today's topic is the manifest wonders of his presence. I've explained to you what his glory means. What uh, Last week, I think I explained four types of glory is it not so so when they say glory you know what they're talking the glory of his praise the glory of his beauty the glory of his wonders are you getting the glorious presence i talked about all of them but today we want to see the demonstration of those glo that glory those glories we talked about last week and when we say the manifest presence of his glory we are saying we want god to manifest those things he's talking about the glory of his blessing, the glory of his healing, the glory of his miracles, the glory of opening of wombs, the glory of miraculous jobs, the glory of divine intervention. Are you getting it now? We want to see it. Tell your neighbor, I want to see it. Say it. Say, I want to see it. The glory of making the lame walk, the glory of opening deaf ears, the glory of creative miracles, the glory of growth disappear. We want to see different kinds of glory. Strange focus, system coming under pressure, people receiving phone calls, showing that there's emergency breakthrough has just occurred because of the visible manifest of his glory. Say amen. So today we want to see that glory. I want to see. Please help me say I want to see your glory. The physical manifest of your glory. Say, God, I want to see your glory. I want to see the wonders of your glory. Say, from today forward, every day of my life, I want to see the manifest wonders of God's glory in my life, in my family. In all my endeavors, every day I sleep, every day I wake up, oh God, I must see the manifest wonders of your glory. It's real. Keep repeating. Say it's real. The children of Israel, I saw it. You divided the Red Sea before them. They saw your manifest wonders. They saw it. You command flies to deal with Egyptians. They saw it. You turn water into blood. They saw the manifest of, your, of the wonders of your glory. Say they saw it. They saw how you subdued the Egyptians. Day, daylight. Daytime. Not in the night. 
you subdue Pharaoh and you brought them out of captivity in the daytime they saw it I want to see it the children of Israelites they saw rock parted into two and water gushed out of love. they saw it God today and all the days of my life I want to see the manifest present the manifest wonders of your glory you are real your wonders are real you are real God I'm telling you you are real be saying as I'm saying it. Say, God, I'm telling you, you are real. By the wonders of the works of your hands, I know you are real. I must see, and I'm seeing the manifest wonders of your glory every day of my life. I'm a son of your glory. I'm begotten of your glory. I must daily see your glory. In the name of Jesus. The children of Israelites were respected. They were feared. They were hallowed. They were respected because of the glories that nations saw around them. There is something unique about them. It's not only his manifest presence. It's in his cloud that was with them in the daytime. That go before them. That lead the way, show them where to go. You see, the pillars of fire as a cloud that is with them in the night once the fire appears it's telling them rest here is okay the bible said the fire go ahead of them to clear and to destroy every of the adversaries around about he go behind them to destroy those that want to come against them and the same fire give light to them what a fire what a glory if the bible said in first peter 11 that this thing was prophesied that it was prophesied of men of old that the glory they saw was small that our own is supposed to be more glorious than what is happening to our generation if those men that we are not born again it used to bother me Peter was not born again but he walked with Jesus these men were not born again but because they walk with the supernatural being they become supernatural being they become divine if these things happen in their days what is happening in our days Say my eyes will see miracle daily. Not arranging miracle. No small children miracle. No magic miracles. But the miracles of the living God. Say I believe in miracles. Close your eyes. Say yes, I believe in miracles. Again, say I believe in miracles. Say miracles are real. Say spirit of miracles overshadow me I believe in you work miracles in my life I'm tired of laboring I'm tired of working it out work it out for me you are a spirit overshadow me and daily work miracles wonders of his glory in my life hallelujah how many people love to walk in his glory Hallelujah. Your eyes will see the glory of the Lord in Jesus' name. Now, when the manifest wonders of His glory comes upon you, I want to show you the things that will begin to happen. Whenever this manifest wonders of His glory come upon you, I have shown you different kinds of His glory. But today we are talking of His the manifest wonders of His glory. They manifest in our lives when they come upon you with that spirit of his glory to manifest wonders come upon you number one you begin to manifest the wonders of his glory when it comes upon you it's not tautology I know what I'm talking about you begin to manifest the wonders of his what glory is a spirit when it comes upon you, you begin to manifest the wonders of his glory. You must not be anointed for ministry for you to manifest it. You must not be separated for you to be manifest. As long as that spirit of God is upon you, begin to manifest it. We saw it in New Testament and in Old Testament. I just choose to pick three, three 
types of character that this presence came upon them and these guys become super beings that we are living in their testimonies today. The first person I want to talk about is Mary. The Bible told us it's a familiar scripture we know in Luke chapter 1 from 1 to the last but I, it, it appeared my heart to take Luke 1 34 to 35. After the angel Gabriel has conversed with her. Mary said everything you said is interested but how shall this be? Seeing that I know no man, I'm a virgin. Seeing that I'm not qualified for this breakthrough. Seeing that I'm not qualified to enjoy this favor. Seeing that I'm nobody. Seeing that I'm the last in the tribe of Benjamin. Seeing that I'm, uh, there's nothing to be reckoned about about my family. Seeing that I don't have the qualification. See that I don't have the height. Seeing that I don't have the courage and the beauty. See that I have no God for See that I have nobody to help me. Seeing that I'm not living in GRA. The Bible gave him answer. All this thing you are saying is story. When the supernatural want to comes upon you, it does not matter what your color is. It does not matter your height. It does not matter where you are living. It does not matter whether you are qualified or not because it's the mercy of God breaking protocol. Somebody say mercy of God. Break protocols for me. It's the mercy of God breaking protocol. 35 and the angel said to him he said the holy ghost let me have 35 he said the angel of the lord answered him, he said the holy ghost the holy ghost that is the visible manifested power of god on earth which is one of the capital like a principal headmaster of the glory of god on earth is god what with the holy ghost he said the holy ghost will do what he will come upon you and the power of his highest, the power of his glory, the shining, radiating glory of God, will do what? Overshadow you. Once that glory overshadow you, everything will turn to be possible. Once the glory of God overshadow you, everything turns to be possible. Impossible thing become possible. No wonder Jesus said to them, With man, these things are not possible, but with God that is inside of man is glory all over me. All things are what possible. Once that glory of God comes upon you, once the power of the highest, which is the glory, the radiating, shining glory of God, anytime it rests upon a man, rests upon a house, rests upon a business, everything turns around automatically. It's important that we know the benefit, the things that God has freely given to us in Christ. The Bible told us in First Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. He said, "He said there. He said that He wants you to know the things that are freely given to you in Christ Jesus. That we've not received the Spirit, which is of the world." Verse twelve. I said, "But the things which is, which is of God, that we might know." God wants you to know 1 Corinthians 2 to a place. God wants you to know. God wants you to know 1 Corinthians 2 12. Now we have not received, now, now we have received not the spirit of the world. That means there's a spirit of the world. That is not them I'm talking about. But the spirit which is of who? God. Why? You see, semicolon there. That we might do what? No. The things that are freely what given to us by God. There are things that have been given to us in Christ. There are things that are benefit in Christ Jesus. There are things that are our right in Christ. The overshadowing presence of God is our benefit in Christ. You don't need to pray for it. You don't need to fight for it. You don't need to fight for it. As long as you know it, begin to place a demand on that spirit. And the manifest of that word will begin to manifest itself in your life in the name of Jesus. Mary was not fasting. Understand how some of these things work. Mary was not praying. Mary was not on the mountain. I'm not saying fasting is wrong. There are things that break the protocols of pride. Uh, fasting and prayer so you wouldn't boast is your effort why they are called riches of his glory because Jesus Christ have received it as I showed you last week in Revelation 5.12 he has received them he died because of them so he has received it all he needs from us for us to enjoy and live in that glory somebody shout glory he does not want you to labor for it he does not want you to fast for it he does not want you to cast it for it 
all he wants you to do is for you to begin to affirm it for you to begin to position yourself to accept it for you to begin to say it am I talking to somebody am I talking to somebody he wants you to begin to affirm it he wants you to wake up every morning and tell yourself the power of the highest has overshadowed me for today out for today was as I go out everything shall be possible with me he came upon Mary everything became possible somebody said the power of the highest has overshadowed me that is too weak say the power of the highest has overshadowed me I want to hear you they can say the power of the highest has overshadowed me learn to affirm it when you wake up in the morning you want to go out before you go out the power of the highest I know you are real thank you because you have overshadowed me the highest thing you can do for the kingdom of God is for you to do something to create awareness that you know they are did you get what I said anytime you, you call Holy, Holy Spirit how are you oh my God he, if you are not careful things will begin to fall down there I've experienced it just you acknowledging knowing that it's with you is enough joy just try it some of you might experience what I experience maybe you tell me Holy Spirit how are you oh, yeah, this comes, I want us to talk there's something I want us to talk at times a bag, handbag you keep will shift just telling you thank you for acknowledging that I'm here I'm with you how much more when you are going out for business you are talking with him in your car you step and say Holy Spirit are you ready now I know you have gone ahead of me but now you are to escort me let's go in come on nothing will be against you he wants you to acknowledge his presence he wants you to acknowledge as the bible says in Philemon I think Philemon 1 says that scripture is Philemon 1 says for long but I have known that scripture for years I hope you know where they call Philemon okay Philemon <laughs> let me have Philemon he said that you acknowledge it let me have that scripture first please I need a fast person to give me scripture please I'm begging you a Philemon Philemon 1 says he said that the communication of thy faith may become effective how will it become effective how will it begin to produce results visible results you see he said by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus somebody shout glory when you learn to acknowledge the presence of God when you learn to acknowledge the angels of God when you are entering bedroom you are telling angels of God that are selling strength that hearken unto the voice of God I have appointment with physical mortal men by 9 o'clock go before me as I am brushing my teeth go before me as I am bathing and towering myself make crooked things straight for me make rough things smooth for me bring down every mountain before me sort, sort every valley before me before I get there make sure you've arranged everything for me come on your angel will love you for that because your angel is not your friend they are there to execute what you have spoken so you not telling them to do anything you are frustrating the assignment in your life and they won't be happy with you it's not written but I know they can slap you for it I say it's not written but they can do what? slap you for it give me assignment give me work to do give me work to do you don't imagine it, you say it out so Mary was not qualified but because the glory of God came upon him the Bible said virgin became pregnant and brought forth a baby boy and his name was called the savior of the whole world Jesus Christ hallelujah we saw it in Moses in Exodus 32 Exodus 32 the glory appeared by the angel of God as a fire let me say this before I read this scripture for some of you who don't know the God that walk with you anytime you have a need or anytime there is a situation anytime you cry anytime you are demanding for help or you need counsel you need anything from the king from God and a particular angel appear to you a particular voice speak to you do all you can 
to find out who that personality is. If he come in form of fire, he's telling you, I will be following you as a fire. Did you get what I'm teaching you? Some of you don't know how your angel appear. How the glory of God appear. To Abraham, he came at Jehovah Jireh. Nobody knew him at Jehovah Jireh. It was in Abraham that you know there's a God, all sufficient God that can provide everything you want. There is something that I discovered some time ago that was happening to me. I discover every Wednesday, every good thing in life come to me. Which day? On Wednesday. If you like, be a winch, hear it, you can block it. I watched this thing happen like up to seven years. Wednesday, in fact, I said, in fact, if not because of God and because of what the life is having Wednesday service, I wanted to force arena of miracle. Even though when God told me Tuesday, I wanted to beg him to push it to Wednesday. He said, no, Tuesday is what I wrote in heaven. Because I discover every Wednesday, lines naturally fall onto me in places and places. Some of us have experienced there's a particular day. Am I talking to somebody? That it looks like everything is beautiful for you. Some of you is in, in seasons. Some of you is raining season. Some of you, that's what I'm coming in season. Maybe months. Some of you are ah, every May. Hey, are they ready? Some of you are, used to say it without even knowing. Every month of May, I know. In fact, May is also every May. In fact, somebody was telling me, he said his month is May. He's not, the person is not born in May. He told me every May he has discovered it by periods of life. Every May, everything is working for him. So what he does that starting from the ending of April, three days he will start fasting. He said, I have discovered May is when I saw my wife. May is when I got my job. Every good thing happened to me in May. Are you getting it now? Some of us receive only good thing in the morning. Some only in the afternoon. I will open your eyes now while I'm teaching you this day. Some only in the evening. Some is only on Sunday we see good things. So when I discover only Wednesday, I watch it like seven years. I say, this, thing is not, this is not by accident. Why is it that Wednesdays, people I don't call, people I don't remember, my son, they will begin to call me, they will remember me, they will be forcing me. I've been calling you more than 10. Just send me your account number, please. Huh? I said, this is strange. And I went to God in prayer. As if it can happen on Wednesday. It can happen on Tuesday. It can happen on Monday. It can happen on Friday. It can happen on Saturday. It can also happen on Sunday. So what did I do? I took seven days fasting. Begin to change my days. And I told God, on Monday good things must happen to me. Tuesday, are you getting it now? I begin to change the order. I'm talking to somebody right now that I know that is hearing me. I begin to change. Some of us, we don't speak to our days. You just wake up to any day. No, every day is not every day. There are days that is called evil day. Bible says, redeeming what? Your days. For the day is what? Evil. So, you have to learn to collect your Monday. You collect Monday. You put bleach and wash Monday. Remove all the stain of poverty. This, are you getting what I'm talking now? Remove all the things that cause sorrow on Monday. Whether you have to put bleach to wash Monday, you spray Monday. Say Monday from today, you will bring good things. You will bring favor. Men, will, are you getting what I'm talking to somebody? You must learn to rearrange your days. Redeem all your days. What did I say? Redeem all your days. So when I discover it, I say, no, it can't be happening only when I say, I did it in all Monday to, to Sunday. And you know man lives seven days. Every man lives under how many days? Seven days. Every week have seven days. Every month have seven days. Every year have seven days. And when I did it, my days become sweet. Am I talking to you now? So if you discover your own is working in only May, Go and put, carry hypo and wash it. Am I talking to you? Yes. Carry hypo and do what? Wash. I hope you know what I mean by hypo. I didn't say carry physical hypo. Spiritual what? Hypo and wash it. So your days will be good. And I prophesy, any man that has caused your days, 
any man that have caused your month any day that have caused your years anyone that have caused any particular day in your week turn it to a day of doom in the name of Jesus I command the blessings of God to rest upon your days I, that amen is too weak I command the blessings of God to rest upon your days let the blessings swallow the causes in your days your Monday we release good things. Tuesday we release good things. Wednesday we release good things. Thursday we release good things. Friday we release good things to you. Saturday we release good things to you. Sunday we give you a harvest of good things. In the name of Jesus. So Moses, that was what took me to it. The angel of God and the angel of the Lord appear unto him in a word flame of fire. Why I mention this thing? If you know a particular spirit, a particular present, a particular glory that often appears to you, learn to have a relationship with that thing. Are you getting what I'm trying to say now? Anytime there is issue, call that spirit, call that angel, it will appear. It's a sign that that is the angel or the glory that has been assigned to your destiny. So I hear. So he said, and appear unto him in the world flame of uh, flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Did you get that now? The Bible says in Exodus 33, 14 and 15 and 18. Exodus 33, 14, 15. And he said, My presence shall go shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. My God give you all round about rest in the name of Jesus. Give me verse 15. Give me verse 15. And he said unto him if thy present go not with me carry us not up hence. 18. And I said oh God show me the word the glory. You have appeared to me as a fire but I really want to know who you are. So I wouldn't be bothering you. So I will learn to place a demand on that particular glory. Are you getting me? Let the glory of God be revealed in your life in the name of Jesus. We saw this glory manifest its wonders in the life of Jesus. The Bible told us in Acts 10 38. Acts 10 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with what? Power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God is with him. I announce to you in this service as many that is oppressed by devil, the anointing has released you in the name of Jesus. The oppressor is destroyed in your life in the name of Jesus. Every oppression in your life come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Every oppression in your dreams come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Every oppression in your womb come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Every oppression in your business come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Every oppression in your finance come to an end now in the name of Jesus. He said the glory came upon him. The glory came upon him. The Bible told us in John 2 11, the glory came upon him. In John 2 11, we saw how he manifested that glory. And as soon as we have heard John chapter 2 verse 11, this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee. And what did he do? Manifested forth his word, his glory. And his disciples did what? Believed in him. Did you see that? He manifested his glory. The glory was made manifest. He couldn't manifest anything until the, the spirit of God came upon him. Until the power of the highest overshadowed him. Until God came upon him. Until he was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. Are you hearing me now? It's a kind of glory. The Holy Ghost is the glory carrier of God. If he rests upon you, a heavy weight of glory has rested upon your destiny. Is that okay? Once the glory of God come upon you, everything about you will come under the glory of God. Pastor Loma, come. Come up here. I need an usher. I need an usher. Let me show you how this thing works. I want to show you how this thing works. When they say the glory of God is coming upon somebody, as this, I will, whatever I tell the Spirit of God to do, 
in this mantle. That is what he will do. That is the power we have received. Because we are God. Anything you tell the Holy Spirit to do, that is what he will do what? He will do. Now, so that when you hear his testimony, remember. I want to say what we make him to physically testify. So that all of you will hear our testimony next Tuesday. Holy Ghost. The manifest power of God overshadow this mantle. I place a demand as your glory rest upon her. Let money money in thousands in hundreds wherever money that belongs to him that is heard as the glory of God come upon them they will be released upon her people she never asks of money they will begin to give her money as she's going her people will call come 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 I feel like to touch you money you will she will begin you've had somebody that testify many, okay you have many people testify it here okay you will see her use this to bear witness on Tuesday it will start today father I decree let your glory overshadow her financial favor financial favor financial favor financial favor financial favor wealth transfer wealth transfer wealth transfer wealth transfer wealth transfer financial release every system come under pressure to favor her financially like the glory that releases money that rests upon her overshadow her before the end of the service let her phone begin to receive alerts 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 of money of every kinds of money in the name of Jesus you come I, I will use four people as example watch make sure you are here to hear their testimony stand here let the glory of God overshadow this mountain for favor everyone that sees her will favor her Holy Ghost anyone that have known her will remember her to favor her whatever that is that desire let it be an answer in the hands of men let the glory to do it overshadow her I want to I hope you are watching their faces be marking what I said give me my mantle Pastor Green, come. Come this side. Okay, come up this side. Whether if they choose to doubt it, it's too late. Are you getting even even when Zachariah doubted, the only thing they made him dumb. Did Elizabeth conceive? when the glory of God visits you your doubts are useless it becomes useless it doesn't work I want to show you one, please mark the words I said so that as they return to testify you will hear what they will say you will notice that this one testimony will be different from this one testimony Father I decree in the name of Jesus that the glory of God overshadow this mountain. Once I say glory, you will ask me which glory. Lord, I place a demand. The glory of your blessings. All and blessing. Ministry blessing. Marital blessing. All kind of blessing. Financial blessings. Anything that is called a blessing blessings for men 
blessings from enemies even from his enemies will begin to bless him Jesus Holy Ghost has spoken this glory as this man to rest upon him blessings people will begin to dash him properties they will begin to dash him things people will go come 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 hey, we say, but you don't need to need it I just had I should give it to you he will begin to, you will hear him testify this on Tuesday pray in the mountain God will come stand here remember I used two women two men so that you remember The Spirit of God said, No. He said, Three people are still doubting. Why don't you use one person that you, you don't know? Yeah, he said, He said, Please, I want you to use one person you don't know. You are seeing for the first time. I will do it. Holy Spirit, let your glory overshadow this mantle. He asked me, For what? Every closed door be open every contention sees good things begin to arrange themselves for you men begin to help you without you asking when you are not there to ask they will jump over fence for you everything that has been on the pipeline they are out everything that is working against you begin to work for you testimonies of jobs testimonies of contract even new contracts contracts are there to contract people you don't know will remember you and send for you and ask you can you do this as soon as you say yes before you get your money will be transferred into your bank you will begin to see extraordinary favor extraordinary mercy that the spirit of God that the glory of God that will overshadow this mountain bring the manifest of these wonders in his life. <sighs> As I've spoken, let the mantle rest upon him. Let me look for somebody I've not seen before. Let me look for somebody I've not seen before. I need a face. I've not seen this fair lady before. Somebody I've not seen before. I'm standing. Have any, me and you have any contact? No. Get the mantle. Good. This one is closed doors, open. Abi? No more struggle. Take good things will begin to happen naturally. The other one is favor. The other one is blessing. What, which one is money? Okay. Father, I decree in the name of Jesus. Say, say it, I will do it. Spirit of the living God, overshadow this mantle. As this mantle come upon her, I decree. Mm. 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 Five destiny helpers will appear to you. Five. They will appear to you. Five. It must be five. And it's five. Five of them. Some will offer money. Some will offer gift. Some will offer so many. Your high, your heart desire you've been praying for. By this mountain. As the glory of God come upon it. And the glory of God overshadow you these five men the Bible said when Saul was anointed the prophet said you will meet three people but God said you will meet five and these five will grant your heart desire yeah. <laughs> Jesus let it rest upon her five she will count them this person called me for this this person called me for this this person asked me if I want this this person gave me this she count them they will be five Samuel said three but God said say what 
five. Now, let's mark these faces. Please help me to be do me this favor to be in the arena of miracle next Tuesday, which I know it will start today. Please, even if you come to me because I saw Tare rushing to me, I can't stand this. The thing is more. Even if you have told me, please, I'm begging you, make sure you return back to this altar to testify them for these people to hear them. Is that okay? I want to use it to help your faith. So you will know that the glory of God is rich. It's true. I love the word it says rich. And truly is rich. Are you hearing it? Father, these five people, share that five, that this mantle has come upon. Let your glory that will overshadow them begin to manifest wonders in their lives. In Jesus' name. Go. I'm happy I, I did somebody I don't know. Then we will see fit. Don't believe it. What did I say? Don't believe it. The only way you believe it is when you see it. Huh? Just leave it the way I've said it. Let's go on. So when the glory of God comes upon you, it begins to manifest wonders in your life. It begins to man it begins to open doors for you, it begins to break protocols for you. It begins to fight on same battles for you. Are you telling me when Jesus was on earth, he didn't have an enemy? But the glory of God that was upon him was fighting invisible battles for him. When the glory of God is upon you, no good things will be denied you. Are you hearing me? Number two, when the manifest wonders of his presence is upon you, darkness, comma, the power of darkness and its works are destroyed in your life. Darkness itself, the power of darkness and its works, that is, activities, are destroyed in your life. Isaiah 60, verse 2. Let me run now. I'm running up. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Behold, what? The darkness shall do what? Cover. Say, not before me. Because I carry the glory of God. He said, darkness shall cover people. Poverty shall cover people. Hardship shall cover people. Shame, disappointment, joblessness. Are you getting me? It will cover people. He said, even upon their crying that they are suffering. Gross, that, that is deeper darkness, deeper suffering will come upon people. Tell your neighbor, but. I'm not hearing. Tell your neighbor, but. Tell your neighbor, but the glory of the Lord shall be risen upon you. Look at it. He said, Darkness shall cover the earth. They will be crying. Are you not seeing people crying? So that you don't live the way people of this world live. That is why I want you to be acknowledging the glory of God. He said, Darkness will cover the earth. Oh. Promise and fail, you will see it. Oh. Disappointment, you will see it. He said, Even gross darkness, the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee. Say, Amen. I will show you what, what I mean by the Lord shall rise upon you. He said, His glory shall be seen upon thee. When His glory, what does it mean? People will be crying, but you'll be consoling them by transferring money into their account. Somebody say, Amen. amen. People will be crying that they don't have her strength. You see, that they don't worry. Just look for two bedroom flat. Don't worry, I will pay it for you. Why? Because the Lord has risen upon you. His glory is seen upon you. When the glory of God rise upon you, when the glory of God is seen upon you, what is he trying to tell you? He's telling you the glory of God is upon you. He manifests wonder of his glory is at work in your life. I gave a prophecy here last week. I think that was last week or last two weeks. My son, Eric, I was prophesying here about his... I stood here to say that he's resuming back to work or something. You remember what I said? And I said, but it, I reversed the word. I, I said, you will resume back. I said, no. Before you resume, I said something. I said, go. What happened? Last three weeks, he came to me he works in all your company. He's not looking for job. But the way they work, you know, this alternative. You work and you go. You know that kind of work. You, another person stay. 
So he called me. He said his time to go back is in. They are not, this company is not calling him. I said, uh-uh, what do you mean? He said, no, mommy, I'm not okay with it. Pastor, don't call me mommy. Pastor Beverly. <laughs> don't call me mommy, Pastor Beverly. And I said to me, Pastor Beverly, he said, please, do something. And I heard his hand. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I command them to call you, eh, now who is that? He said, what are you doing? Eh, I said, God is saying Tuesday, I want you to stay this Tuesday to help us carry camera where? I said, but I want to go. I said, stop. God, they will call him, will go and feed his phone, do everything on Tuesday, Wednesday he will leave. He said, eh. I said, yes, just let me enjoy you this time. So you help me do good coverage. He laughed. On Tuesday, they called him, they went. He went and finished doing the normal, going to pick his ticket and every other thing. They told him, no, he should go back. Ah, that they would get back to him. So he, he, call, he, came, he called me on, on Thursday. He said, he doesn't understand what is going on. I said, okay, don't worry, go. He called me on Friday again. He said, not to know. I said, ah. I said, go. I said, okay, leave it. He said, ah, I'll be pastor, you want me to still stay this Tuesday again? I said, okay, hence you have used your mouth to say it. This Tuesday, I will pray for you. But while I was on the pulpit here, pre- preaching, the word came out of my mouth. I said, you will go. I mentioned the day he will go. I said, so, so day, on Wednesday, as so we're finishing, I read, I said, on Wednesday, they will call you. I said, but before you go, there is something good God will do for you. There's a way I, I put it. He told me how I put it. And that was it. He now called me and said, you will not believe it. They called me that day as you said. And immediately they called me. They told me I should come. They called me back again. My heart wanted to call. They said, no. We changed our mind. Now I get what I said. I said they will call you. But this time it will be added with promotion. I don't, let's learn to pick some of the things. I said it will be added with promotion. I mentioned promotion in that word. He now went. They called him back. Say, well, no need. You have been promoted. There's no need you going there. Jo- come, let us train you for your new promotion. After the training, you cannot return. He's not around. He's on the training. So when I saw him on, th- on, on, on Thursday, I said, what did he say? No, 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 no. I want to see you. Now you, now you, because you, you told me go. You reverse it again. Say promotion. I said, well, what do you mean by that? He said, I'm on a course now, promotional course. I said, you don't say, say that is why, that is what I, that's why I rushed. I, mean, that, I didn't even lock my car. That's why I rushed to come and see because I know once you enter, I will not be able to see you. I said, no, that's one a good thing. Go and enjoy yourself. That is how the spirit of God does. When the glory comes upon you, when the manifest comes, I know why I'm explaining this thing to you. I'm, I'm true, but I want you to get it so that you will go home with it. That's why I spend time. Some of you don't know the things that are freely given to you. Some of you don't know the things you labor for. Some of you don't know what you sow seed for. This one, you sow no seed for it. It's just for you to acknowledge it and know it. And accept it and begin to say it. Then the spirit will begin to manifest. Did you get how it works? So he said, when the glory of God when the glory of God comes upon you, the power of darkness will be crushed. Darkness himself will disappear, will be turned to light. He said, and what again? We say, why? He said, because the glory of God has been seen upon you. For the glory of God to appear on you means, my son, are you the dash people? Nobody people the dash you. Are you getting what I'm saying? You are both. When people want to dash you, they dash in millions. Because of I'm on air, I will quote this testimony. I have a son here. I have a son because I'm on air, because he's an influential person all over Nigeria. I wouldn't call the profession of that my son. He came and met me. He told me the company he's working he doesn't want to work there again. I said, Why? What is this the biggest company in Port Harcourt? He said, I don't want to work there again. I said, Why? He said, I don't want. I don't see any future in that company. It's after the teaching you did last Tuesday. I'm on off. I came. I became restless. I said, okay, I had this hand. I said, God, if he does not want to work, then I decree under three weeks, promote him. He said, no, no, no. He said, Pastor Bebe, anything you talk, they happen. Two weeks too long. Three weeks is too long. He said, bring it back. That's how he saw me. He said, anything. He said, no, no, no. Pastor, wait. Anything you talk, they work. Three weeks too far. Bring him back. Bring him back. I looked at him. 
He said, yeah, yes, bring it back. I said, okay. I decree on that four days. He said, hey, man. I said, but you are still working. I said, leave that in. in, in there's nothing you have said to me that never came to pass. Three weeks too far. Four days is okay. I laughed. To be honest, Pastor Jacob, I didn't mean it. I laughed. This young man walked away. And called me the next day. Called me, say, when I saw his calls, almost 15 missed calls. Because I was handling a vital issue. When I saw his calls, later around 10, 11, I said, it's too late. Timura, when I call him, he said, I've been calling you yesterday just for you to pray for me. What you said that come to pass, I'm heading to Lagos right now. Huh? I said, Lagos for what? He said, for the thing, I told you, I told you that three weeks you are prophesying is too long. You should bring it back. They called, I said, what I said, I have left them, I took permission, they want to take the letter. I said, you can't do that. He said, I believe you. You know, go understand me, I believe you. As I'm talking to you, I'm almost entering Lagos. Ah! He got there. He told me, okay, that he has gone to the company that invited him. When he went there, he told me, mommy, the crowd is something else. I said, you fear crowd? He said, I know fear. I know fear. When I, I said, every, make every person bring out a pastor, you must prefer. I said, oh yeah, when is your turn? Call me. He said, two persons before them night will be my turn. He went and called me. I released the glory upon him. I said, oh yeah, enter. He went. He went. He said, he told me, Zuki, Zuki. They started calling me. They said, the boy is giving me sign. It's my turn. He went. You will not believe this story as, dra as dramatic as it is. He went and did his own interview. They interviewed him. Did everything. He came out. He said, when they were going, they asked, called some names. He said, among the 13 names they called, his name was number one. He said, he called me and called me. I was not picking. I told him, I shut down my phone. I was praying. So he called me the next day, no way. In the night, he sent me a message. He said, please, if you don't answer my call, this phone, my phone, if, whether you say phone, we catch fire. I don't know what he said. Answer this call. Because they say we are resuming today. My name is among the 30. I said, okay, I reply him. I said, don't disturb me again. The job is yours. That's what I said, don't disturb me again. The job is yours. He said, once I say, he, said, he will not call me again. He now went. He's good to tell you some of this where you learn to believe. He said, believe the word of your prophet. He said, you will prosper. Learn to believe what I said. I'm not fake. And I'm not praising myself, but I'm telling you, I'm sure of myself, I'm not fake. It's what is put in my mouth. That is what I say. And that is the testimony that gathered all of you here. And I said to him, that is all I said to this young man. He said, before you know it, the remaining five, he said he's, he was number one. He said, yeah, I can't call Pastor Beverly again. He said, Don't, he, the test means I should not call him. You will not believe it. This boy was the only person picked for the job. He called me. He sent me a test. He said, please, can you pick my call now? And I called him back. So what is it? He said, you will not believe it. I'm the only person they pick out of that thousands. I said, tell me, how did it happen? He said, I don't know. He said, where are you now? He said, there is something I don't understand. Escort is carrying me to the place of work. He does not even know the person. He does not. That's why I don't want to mention the name of the person. He does not even know the person. He's, now he has one. The people send their vehicle to come and pick him from the, from the company. When he got there, he entered with an atollet because he was whispering. He said, my mother, my mother. I said, what is it? Can you imagine the house of the person I am now? I said, will I know you? you tell me. He said, I said, I don't like guessing. Tell me when, my, when the boy called the name. Not waiting to talk for Mike. When I told my husband, my husband screamed. He said, you don't say. I said, now call him now. Where are they now? Where are they the walk? He said, I said, but you didn't tell me. I said, God didn't tell me. But God told me, speak, he will get the job. And I called him day for years. He said, Alpha, how is the job? He said, No, you know, I'm just enjoying, you know. They are doing my papers. I want to travel out of the country. A local boy. A local boy. He was blessing me the other day, crying. Say, Me, me. I said, That is God. I said, Enjoy yourself. Say he's running around for his papers. Enjoy yourself. How many will I talk? Another one again, I cannot even mention the name of that one. Because he's a notable person in Nigeria, in River State. If I shall, everybody will know. My daughter, my daughter here, at least Pastor Loma, you know that one. I told her, I said, get up. I want to place you on seven days fasting. That is why some of you, I need to know you. 
That's why I'm sh- I was shouting on my worker that some of these people I need to know who they are. Because at times God give me what I don't know the specific person. He said, Go her, place on seven days fasting. Why seven days the third day? I said, God said we should terminate it. And I did a prayer for her. I said, Before this day break, news would occur. And behold, who is who? I think he should be the number three man in Nigeria. No, I, I, I think I'm right. He's the number three man in this country. They called her. Say, so want her to be their PA. She called me. She said, Mommy, can this be film? I said, it's not film. It's real. He said, but where did you ask me to go to Lagos? I said, that is why I said, I told you go. Wait to, you, I said, leave those. Just be wait, waiting there. There is something mega that is coming. Children that listen to their pastor. I told her to leave Port Harcourt and move to Lagos. He said, for I said, go. I'm the one I said, go. There's something good that is coming. And as God we have it, the opportunity came out. As the opportunity came out, that is where she's working now. She called me four days ago. I did not five days ago. Were telling me preparation of her papers. That they want to travel all over. This one all over. Can only be God. I said, God, what are you saying? Keep quiet and I'm shooting all your children like an arrow. Is there not be any hard place that they shoot your children? I know the houses, the companies I'm shooting them into. So that as you arise as a wind, as you thought, say, no, my mama be that too. Listen to her. I prophesy to you. Whatever good that is yours, that your name is written upon it, whether it be an appointment, whether it be a favor, whether it be a job, whether it be any kind of good things, I decree, let the glory of God shoot you into those places. Listening to your pastors, it will be well with you. Listening to them, it will be well with you. So that is the glory of God. Number three. The glory of the glory of Lebanon. That's when the manifest wonders of his glory come upon you. The glory of Lebanon. The glory of man. Even the glory of Satan will start coming to you. Even the glory of who? Satan we start coming to you. Remember what he said in Luke 6. Is. He saw all this glory. He said they have been given to me. But Jesus Christ has collected it because the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. And we are reigning and meet forever and ever. This kingdom does not belong to Satan. I hear some of you say that nonsense. The world belongs to Satan. It's a lie. The Bible says the kingdoms of this world has become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. And we are reigning forever. We are ruling. It's not Satan that is ruling. Hallelujah. So, when that manifest present of his glory come upon you, glory, the glory of living, you know what I mean? Glory. The good things of free fasting begin to run into your hands. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Verse 3. Verse 7. He said, Rise, shine, for the light is come. What will happen? And the glory of the Lord is what? Raising upon thee. Arise. Let me see amplify five of that. Uh, Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Amplified. 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 Please, where's my manager? Arise from the depression and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. Shine, be radiant with the glory of the Lord. Why? For the light has come and the glory of the Lord has what? Risen upon you. So when the glory of God comes upon you, if you are oppressed, you will come out of oppression. If you are afflicted, the chains of affliction will break off you. If you are bound, you will be loosed. That is what the glory does. That's why it told you, arise, shine. I believe the guy is looking, what, what is he saying? He said, the reason I'm telling you, get up, is because the glory of God is risen upon you. When the glory come upon you, chains that helped you in bondage will be broken. And as you are hearing me, 
every witchcraft stronghold in your spirit every witchcraft stronghold in your marriage every witchcraft stronghold in your finance they are destroyed in the name of Jesus when the glory of God appears you will arise by force the Bible says when you arise because of the glory verse 3 let me have 3 and 7 he said, Gentiles shall do what? Come to their light. Kings shall, sh kings to the what? To the brightness of their light. And give me verse 7. Give me verse, oh I love this. All the flocks of Kedar, which, what Kedar shall be what? Gathered together unto me and you. The rams of Nobot shall minister. You know minister, they begin to favor us. They shall come up with acceptance on this altar of arena of miracle. And I will glorify the house of my glory. Somebody shout glory. glory. Give me verse 13. He said, the, said somebody said the glory of Port Harcourt. Said the glory of Nigeria. The good things of River State. The glory of Lebanon are coming unto me. The fair tree, say it, the pin tree, the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious, says the Lord of hosts. Isaiah 61, verse 6. So when the glory of God rises upon you, good things begin to come. Are you beginning to understand what I did with those five people? It will begin to come. So when I tell you now, get up for the glory of God to overshadow you. No two power mic for me. Or no flex for me. But you shall be named the prince of the Lord. Say amen. amen. Men shall call you ministers of our God. Say amen. amen. You shall eat. Sir shall eat. I shall eat. The riches amen. of unbelievers. Amen. Of Gentiles. And in their glory, in their pounds, in their dollars, in their appointment, I should boast myself. God said, this is the only place that will permit you to boast. He said, you will eat the good of unbelievers. That means they shall be well transferred. Money will leave somebody's hand to enter into the God said to me, there are three persons here. He said, I'm about to do a word transfer to three persons here. I decree those three persons receive word transfer in the name of Jesus. I had it. He said, three persons, I'm doing word transfer as you are speaking right now. Money you never live for, labor for. Opportunities you never sorted out for. Are you hearing me? contract you did not bid for they will be transferred into your hands so good things will begin to come when the glory come good things will begin to come believe the word of God you will prosper Luke 145 he said there shall be performance of those things which are said of me of the Lord because what you believed when you believe the word of God there shall be performance we believe, we so much believe Nigeria be able but the word of God, open your heart and believe it as you go home, use it to compose song, the glory of Potakos is running into my hand, because the glory of God has rest upon me say it, you will see it say it, you will do what? you will see it we, this kingdom we enter it by faith we enter it by what? by faith we did not enter it by, by, by doubt or by cover. We enter it by faith. It's by faith we receive salvation. So once you say it, you will say it. You say, whosoever that shall say to this mountain, be that removed and be cast away. And shall not doubt in his heart, but believe that that which he saith shall come to pass. Ah, he says, shall have whatever thing he saith. The word of God is true. Believe it. You will see it. Unbeliever will believe it, they will not see it. Except they will keep people at break fence and the wages of sin is dead. Don't, I told you last week, don't envy the prosperity of the wicked. You know what I said? Don't ever envy it. Because they will die and the word will be transferred to our hands. The Bible says, I think in Ecclesiastes 6 2 or 6 12, he says, Give to the wicked the, the labor of gathering. And he will carry it and give it to the righteous who is pleased with. That does not give you a guarantee for you to be lazy in up and down. I don't believe in that. What? How to activate the manifest wonders of his glory. 
how do you activate it it's just by one by faith it's by what it's by faith it's by what it's by what by faith I say it again it's by what it's by what by faith because faith is the substance of things hoped for evidence of things not seen faith is confidence that what you hope for you will, that it will actually do what happen faith gives you assurance about things you cannot see faith gives you what assurance of things you cannot see faith is things I have faith is things I have confidence that I will have them Things that are not seen that I have confidence that I will do what? I will have them. Is that okay? Faith is creating your word by the word of God. Creating your own word by the W word of creating your word W O R E D by the word word of God. Is manifest presence of his glory. You begin to conf- confess it. Then you begin to create your own word. Did you get it? Faith is calling those things that be not as is though they were, and they come to be. That is faith. So, what activates this glory is faith. Is what faith? Faith is believing against hope. Believing what against hope? That will tell you, you no know, go happen. Say, shut up. You don't happen. Finish. Pastor Beverly tell you on Monday. He said every day can be Monday. You must come to pass. God punish you. Punish your mouth. You know some of you like insulting human being. Why insult is given to our mouth is to insult devil. It's not everything you pray. Something insulting back. How are you sure this man will get shut up? God give you purging stomach. The man will be there. He will wait for me and I will see him. And I will receive it and I will return the glory to my father. What of if this man go? Like others who come and, and says us me, look me around and walk away. It's a lie. This one is the gift of God. He make a rich and add no sorrow. Learn to answer him. This exam. The, the lecturer said, no, other people say nobody pass it. He said, I must pass it. My case is different. You must learn to answer Satan. Anything that comes to you, he will first talk. You also answer him. Answer him. Not Satan will be talking, you keep quiet. Say, don't worry, I don't want to answer. I will pray in the night. Which is which yeastic prayer? What I'm doing now is not pray and pray him. I'm praying. Bring his cancer to naught. Alright? Faith is speaking without doubting in your heart. Faith is what? That is faith. So if you want to activate its manifest presence, what do you do? Faith. Operating faith. Kajiko. The enemy of his manifest wonders. He has two enemies. The only thing that will limit you not to get this blessing is number one, rejection of salvation. You can't be in the kingdom of darkness and you want to receive the, the blessings of the kingdom of light. Colossians 1 13 says, God has delivered you from the power of darkness and have translated you. You can't be in the kingdom of darkness and you want to receive the blessings of the light. Is it possible? It's not possible. You can't be the son of uh, uh, Jacob, yes, and also want to be the son of. Uh, Pastor Law Machi Joke. It's not possible. It doesn't make sense. One person must be playing away much. So salvation, you have to be born again. That is the only franchise you need. That is the only voter's card you need. Leave that of INEC. Leave that out for INEC and Bayasa and Kogi State election. Leave it. Leave it for Jesus. There is God though. There is God though. God. The ones that have lost their lives, sorry. 
please, Nigeria politics is not election or is business. So, Nigeria politics is not uh, uh, politics or is business. So, don't go and die for nothing. None of them, you are voting. You are not. You are. They are not even using your vote. They are not using it. Don't go and die for nothing. They call you, begin to kill yourself. You are going. Please. Assign the angel of God to protect your house that they save your head. They are fighting for their own pocket. They are not doing it for education. They are not doing it for to the fuel pump we reduce. They are not doing it for roads. They are not doing what they gain. Electricity. They are not doing it for anything. They are doing it for their pocket. So please. They have so frustrated the people. Now the people is facing pastors. Yes. They are so frustrated. The people now are facing pastors. Now, pastor is their problem. Pastor is collecting all their money. Why the people that they pay millions? I was watching on television yesterday. Hundred and is it hundred and what billion? A budget for for Abia State. Fabia State. He, went, he was stabling it for them to talk. Did they talk? No. They have talked behind. They have talked behind. And that money will be given. And that money will be judicially shared. Please. If you enter your hand, where well, God bless. If you don't enter, join us. Make with the pray. That's why when God said sow seed, we are also sowing seed for our own way for our doors to open. Is that okay? Don't reject salvation. If you know you are not born again, can I see your hand up here? The glory cannot come. If you know you are not born again, can I see your hand up? You want to receive Jesus Christ into your life so that his glory will be risen upon you. Can I see your hand? I've given you opportunity. Number two is sin. Romans 3.23. Sin. Romans 3.23. Sin. For all have sinned and come short the glory of God. So sin cut short what? The glory of God. Hosea 4.7. Then we get up and start. Hosea 4.7. As they were increased, so they sin against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. Let me have amplify of that scripture. I saw it. I never believed my eye. Amplify. The more they increase and multiply in what? Prosperity and power. The more they sin against me. And when that happened, what did he say he would do? He would change their glory into shame. Do you see how it comes? some of you, the reason why your family is suffering today, God bless you with money 2015 but you use it to do swagger your wife became out of shape your house is no more comfortable, you squash it and now you finish squashing it all your friends, they disappear That's, the Bible says riches make many friends, poverty Is that okay? Is the foolish when you make money, you squash it. When you make money, it's the first time. Once you give God his own, so that canker worms will not steal, demonic robbers will not steal, you and your wife put her together and plan on how to invest the money. Don't think alone. That was a cause is him that is alone. There's nothing like I do the thinking, my wife do the, the world of producing children. No two of you should sit down to do what? Plan. When two of you plan together, the woman will wage her side. You will also do what? Wage your side. If some unnecessary expensive come, the woman will tell you no because, please, I better make her wait for now. Will they do something? But when you don't tell her, every time she's telling you, give me, give me, give me, give me. It's not her fault. So my wife is too demanding because you didn't tell her exactly how much you have. When you make money, she doesn't know. When you are cobbleless, she doesn't know. And that is how such men die in BP. Hand we bend, neck we bend. The wife will be crying without nothing. Look at the incident that happened two weeks ago. A multi millionaire that died. 
the family, nobody knows where his money is. Nothing. Nothing. Look at the one, your wife was also gisting me, that one too. Nothing. There is no way the family, your wife was telling me so many things, but I'm telling you nobody knows where those things. The wife doesn't know because he doesn't sleep in the house from January to December. We are enjoying life. You are rocking with baby, baby, baby. You know, say that your money then they rock. Go do a baby with them without money. See whether they can talk to you. Let's get up. Leave that thing. Let's be upstanding. We are going to pray. Please, let's be upstanding.